everybody, my name's Lee and we're back here for another Fit and 50 workout. So today's workout balance uh, focuses on strength, balance and cardio. So just a little mobility um, drill to warm up. So we're going to start with some windmills. So start by bringing the legs wide arms out and we're going to start by tapping the opposite knee. So keep your legs fairly straight and as you start to warm up you might want to reach a bit further down the leg. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can stay at the knee. If it's good to go down to the ankle, reach a little bit further so we're warming up those hamstrings. All right, now we're going to do some little squats, bearing in mind that this is just a warm-up, so we can keep the depth of our squat fairly shallow. Just baby squats to start with. So I'll do about 30 seconds of those, and then we're just going to circle our arms. So bring your arms up to about shoulder height. Think of making little circles with the fingertips and reverse direction. We're gonna do each exercise for roughly 30 seconds each and repeat two to three times. All right, so for the main body of today's workout, we've got two possible timings depending on how hard you want your workout to be. So you can go 30 seconds working interval, 30 seconds rest, or 45 seconds working interval, 15 rest, which will give you more work, less recovery. All right, so the exercises come in pairs, two strength exercises and a cardio exercise. So first pair is a narrow squat. So set your shoulders down and back, rib cage in. You're choosing the time and we're gonna get going. So you can start to deepen that squat. So working those big muscles. We'll say that's the end of that interval. Shake out the legs. And then your next exercise for this pair is a chair pose. So shoulders down and back. We're gonna sit down into our squat and then reach the arms up. So we're gonna hold this here for whatever length of time you've chosen. So try and keep your back straight, energy through the arms, out the fingertips, keep the belly drawing in until the end of your chosen time. Right, cardio exercise to go with that. Heel digs, so just a little tap, nice and light on the feet. If you need a low option, just bring it down so there's no impact for those of us whose knees might not like the impact. All right, so that's exercise one. You can have a little rest in between. Exercise two is going to work the upper body and core. So we're going to do a push up with a pull back. Hands wider than your mat. Whatever push up variation you choose, push up and pull back. Trying to get a good range, chest down to the mat. And the strength exercise to go with that is a plank with a reach. So start in a plank or modified plank. If you're going to reach with the arm. Squeeze your glutes so there's no rocking of the hips. You can always come back to a plank 
or a modified plank. Cardio exercise to go with that one. We're going to think of moving side to side. Ice skaters. Let's start off small. If you don't want the impact, just step and tap. Bring the arms in for more. Long and low. And that's exercise two. Exercise three, we've got wide squats. Bring the legs wide, turn out the toes. Like we did in the warm up, we're gonna bring tailbone down to the floor, keeping the abdominals tucked in. Our balance exercise is a star pose. So we're going to step onto one leg, reach your arms out, bring that other leg high, keep the abdominals working. And then halfway, we're going to change sides. And your cardio exercise this time butt kicks, see if you can bring the heel all the way up to the butt, if you want a little bit more, use the arms. Alright, exercise four going to do a back extension and a side plank and crunch. All right, so reach your arms out in front, legs are straight, draw the belly in off the mat and we're going to exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keep your legs and arms straight. You need to make that one easier. You can either work the upper body or the lower body. Um, side plank. Get rid of this. All right, so plank options are this. Plank options are Leg down, makes it easier. Add a reach if you can. And if you want to make that harder, I'm gonna do a full plank with that reach in. Thinking of pushing up with the bottom waist. All right, we're gonna work a little bit on coordination as well as cardio. So our cardio exercise is Navy Seal Jacks. Let's get the legs going first. So we're gonna do scissors. And then we'll add the arms. Whatever version of it you can do, it's all good. All right, fifth lot of exercises. We're gonna work the back of the arm. So we're gonna start off with tricep push-ups. So two versions of this one on the floor or the wall. Let's have a look at the floor one. So hands to shoulder width. Keep the elbows tucked in. And same on the wall. Narrow hands. Keeping the shoulders drawn down and back. And we're gonna work the core with a walk down. Reach up tall. 
walk the hands out. And then we're going to lower slowly. And then all the way back. All right, so cardio exercise that goes with the fifth lot of exercises is punch ups. So we're going to punch as if we're punching the ceiling. And for more intensity, we're going to go faster. Going across the body, knuckles face the ceiling. And if you want to make it harder, you can add a little squat. Exercise six, We've got a three-way lunge, a Russian twist, and some little jumps. So for the three-way lunge, let's bring the mat back here. When you're exercising at home, just make sure you can't trip or fall over anything. So we're gonna go forward, backwards, side. Forward, Backwards, side lunge. Gonna do half of your time on one side and then change sides. Forwards, side, keeping the belly drawn in. Side. Okay, Russian twist. Russian twist works the core, but we have to be in the right position. So first of all, shoulders down and back. We're gonna lean back into it, belly drawing in. And then we're gonna twist from the ribs. If you want more, you can lift the legs. And our last cardio exercise is some square jumps. So imagine a square on the floor. I'm gonna jump with the feet together. Change direction halfway. And repeat. Don't forget your stretches. 